Hey everyone, Guitarzen70 here. How you doing? Hope you're all having a great day. Um, first video in a while, so I'm excited to be making these again. Uh, I had to take some time off for a new job and all that, so hopefully I'll be able to do these more regular uh, and just needed a little bit of a break. But anyway, uh, happy to be back and let's talk about how to build a solo. Just, uh, just a, a few ideas on how to build solos if someone was like hey i came up with this this cool rhythm you know why don't you go off on one or you know uh you know lay something down to that or whatever or maybe you wrote it and you want to write your own melody okay so let's here's the here's the rhythm a simple rhythm to start with it's uh e g c and a inflections you want to put on it. Now what would I do if someone's like, hey, you know, take a rip at that or whatever. I could just come in and start flaring, you know, and just start going off, but typically what I'll do is feel it out a little bit and decide where it's taken me that day. Um, so if I wrote a solo today, it's probably going to sound different than the solo that I would come up with tomorrow or even in the next 15 minutes, right? You know how that goes. So what I like to do is as I'll just follow the rhythm very simply on single notes or, or similar, right? So what I've played there is basically the rhythm. starting over okay I do that a lot pretty much um, you know it just kind of gets me into the feel now where I go from there is you know what do I feel you know and you've already it's very tension building which is kind of cool and it's strong to the tonic it, it, you know it's so you, you can really go anywhere from there if you want to go dissonant or kind of you know a little off and not so strong in the in the key you can you know so you <laughs> Building tension. You know, I'm taking the 15th fret there and just build it. Now, probably, I'm hearing higher. You could go there, you can keep it, you know, you could, if I want to keep it like not just tension, but I want to keep it super melodic. So. so now you're starting the progression over, right? Now, what do you want to do there? That's you've automatically started to kind of bring it down a little bit. Well, I'm hearing right now, I'm going to build more tension. Whatever, that's just an idea, you know, if you wanted to, so what you, I don't know if I can redo, if I can duplicate that, but let's just. something like that you know you can kind of just real slow and kind of you know build it up and just come to it you know way up high here or whatever or you can even add some you know add some flash you know whatever you want to do up there um, or you could you know take it different you can give it a completely different flavor so let's say we get to So let's say we wanted to take that route, right? Um, we wanted to add like a harmonic minor flavor to it. You could do that. These these go together really well here. Um, you know, 
don't even have to throw, throw that one in there. So what is this? This is 7, 9, 10, 7, 9, 10 on the, on the A and D string. And then 8, 9, 11 on the G. And then 8, 10, 12 on the B. And then 8, 11, 12 on the E. So you can kind of... You can add that. You know, you can throw that run in there if you want to, and you can tie them together. They fit together really nice. You know, and kind of do that kind of a thing. So, um, oh, and then you can always, if you if you do that. So in that kind of a run, you're just going, it's uh, eight, you're just taking that idea of eight, nine, 11, and you're just playing it, the kind of fan and fan picking. Then you move up one and you're gonna go, uh, what is this, nine, 11, 12. You could do it again, 11, 12, 14. And then the world is your oyster there, right? You could, you could, you could slide up. Or you could, you know, back to that 15 band, or you could just go straight into the run. Right? So there's infinite ideas in there with tying these, uh, this minor pentatonic or minor, the, the natural minor scale. But it all started from... Boom, that's my intro. Now, is every intro to every solo gonna start like that? No, because your solos would sound boring, contrived, and all that kind of stuff. But you can, it's getting you into the flow and you can kind of feel, you know, okay, maybe I'll, I'll do something similar to that and if I wanna construct a solo that like the first example we did where it just kind of builds and crescendos up, but you may want to just start out with, you know, you know, coming in with whatever, that's great too. You're going to use the same idea with um, just kind of building into it slowly and, you know, you're going to maybe take it chord by chord and just break it down that way. What do I want to play over this? What do I want to play over that? But I have found that the best way to do it is whatever sounds the best, right? So don't make your solo sound contrived. Make your solo sound like um, they're natural and that it's what you feel, you know? And if some days you feel like a million notes, some days you don't, you know, it's the easiest way to say it. And so um, enjoy. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them below and um, have a great new year.